Eating healthier can seem overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be a complete overhaul of your diet, nor does it have to be boring. Small swaps and portion control can add up to big benefits. I'm Quinn Lund, clinical dietitian at Salina Regional Health Center. Quinn, thank you so much for being on the show. It's always great to have you to come on to talk about nutrition. Um, this month is National Nutrition Month, and I wanted you to talk about that. So every year, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics picks a theme that we focus on in March. In past years, it's been eating right bite by bite or put your best fork forward or a couple examples. This year's is personalize your plate, which means you follow the plate method of eating, but you choose foods that you personally enjoy and also that meet your unique nutritional needs. Well, let's talk about the plate method. Just what is that? So the plate method is you take your dinner plate and you cut it into four sections. You have a quarter of your plate is your meat or your protein. It should be about the size of your, the palm of your hand. And then a quarter of your plate is your starch or your grain. Try to choose whole grains more often than refined grains. And that should be about the size of your fist. And then half your plate is your fruits and vegetables. Try to focus more on vegetables than you do fruit. And then try to add a serving of dairy as well. Okay, well that's probably fairly easy for a dietitian maybe to do maybe not necessarily for the average person like, like myself. Well, so what are some tips to maybe start doing that? That's where personalization comes into play. Let's say you love mac and cheese. You don't have to completely cut that out of your diet if you're trying to eat healthier. Just eat it in a quarter of your plate and then add foods from the different food groups to round out your meal. Or let's say you're already following the plate method and you still wanna eat a little healthier, try to make small swaps. So instead of refined uh, pasta with using white flour, try bean pasta or whole wheat pasta. Or you can even look for a recipe that uses plain Greek yogurt to lighten it up and add more protein. Okay, I know for myself, it's usually harder to kind of incorporate a lot of vegetables in there. You know, a standard, just you know, one, one vegetable, throw it on the plate. So what are some tips you have for that? Definitely try different cooking methods when you're wanting to include more vegetables. I've recently started roasting more vegetables and my husband actually really likes a lot of new vegetables that he didn't think he would like just because I've roasted them with a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil and his favorite seasoning. Um, and then it's also just really good to include different uh, vegetables in anything that you're eating. So maybe add broccoli to your mac and cheese or zucchini to your spaghetti. You can even add frozen cauliflower to your smoothie um, or extra bell peppers to your fajitas. There's always more ways you can sneak veggies in, but you're adding seasonings and flavorings from your meat and different foods in that dish. So it, it helps hide it a lot easier. Okay, thank you so much for being on the show. Great information. And thank you for watching. For more information, please visit srhc.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram.